my bubby, it was her 90th birthday. And uh, on my way back home, I, um, I was standing in Heathrow Airport in the, um, in the queue. It was a long wait. It is the maximum of all warfare that one should know one's enemy. I'm an immigrant, an alien. How does the gray do it? It attacks on three fronts. The first is shelter. You need to make sure that the jar is clean. The red is, is put under immense stress and this stress leaves it vulnerable to disease. And this, this leads to death. We do this because we don't want any impurities. The second way that the gray attacks the red is through food. I just came back from um, Toronto. I was visiting my bubby. That's, um, that's my grandmother in Yiddish. Finally, the gray, ladies and gentlemen, the gray has a virus, a pox, yes? And it is immune to this. It is, but the red is not. The red now lacking adequate shelter, lacking adequate food, is left susceptible to this disease which destroys it from the inside out. My bubby's been sending me recipes too. Uh, she um, is famous for her strawberry preserves. It is clear that this alien species, much admired for its cuteness and initiative, that these immigrant invaders are responsible for the victimization of the reds. That's so that nothing can get in, no air. The ESI is committed to developing weapons and techniques to destroy this immigrant invader. Mishkeit, Mishkeit is ugly and Mittendorina is all of a sudden suddenly. We are committed to the eradication and the sterilization of the Greys and I urge you to join us. Together we will fight and together we will win. So I want you to go out there today and I want you to kill us some grey squirrels. So it just got me thinking, how long does something have to be in a place for it to actually be from there? <laughs>